Welcome friends to Muskrat Lynx and our premiere series, Golfing the Granite State. Today we have the opportunity to showcase a Golf Digest 4.5 star facility that's arguably the number one public course in the state. This is truly New Hampshire golf at its finest. This episode features the gorgeous Back 9 at Lockmere Country Club. Now sit back, relax, and take in this one-of-a-kind golf experience. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a video I've been looking forward to for a long time. This is one of the highest rated courses in the state, and they've been kind enough to let us film out there and indeed golf ball hunt after as well. So make sure to stay tuned for that video. But goals for today, I have never played here before and I'm really looking forward to this. So I really wanna enjoy the golf today. Let's see if we can hit one really great shot. I wanna have like one big shot this round. Then since we played recently the aggressive versus safe golf and we saw that safe golf was a lot better for my game, let's try to do some scoring out there today. Also in this video, we're gonna be announcing the winner from the giveaway from last video. So make sure to watch till the end to see who the winner is for all of that muskrat link swag. And again, help us get to that 10K mark. Tap that subscribe button and let's go have some fun out here. Topping out at over 6,700 yards, Lockmere Country Club offers a fantastic New Hampshire golf experience with numerous dog legs, huge elevation changes, tight fairways, and challenging greens. For facilities, they feature a full service restaurant, driving range, two putting greens, and generous pro shop. Constantly voted New Hampshire's best public course, let's get started on the 10th tee. As it turns out, I don't think I've actually played like a real round of golf in like a month. Also no warm up, also no putting green. We're just going out there, cold. That's how we score best, right? <laughs> First hole here, I think it's a dog leg left par for about 360 yards. We've got kind of a swamp thing running down the middle there. It looks like it's about 300 yards out. So I'm gonna take four wood here to try to be safe. Let's just try to hit a fairway, right? Safe golf, let's do it. Just a little half swing here, try to keep it under control. First swing of the month, right over that purple tree. Nice, that's a money drive. That's exactly where I wanted to be, I think. Seems like a fairway. I love it. Let's roll. Well, good thing we actually hit forward there. I was considering nine wood. I was like, that's probably enough. But we actually barely cleared the pond that I couldn't see over here. Look at that. We just made it pass by a couple of yards. So no complaints for me. It worked out in our favor. We've got about 140-ish yards kind of uphill left here. So I've got a light nine iron here. I'll send you guys up to the green, see if I can get a good look for you. Decent. Did I see you up there waving your arms like I should have called forward to you, Sarah? No. Oh, I thought you were waving me like, gave me one of those. No, I was like, you almost hit me, but it wasn't like you should have given me one. I was like, waving from here the whole time. I could tell it was short right the entire time. All right, hey, here we go. Just off the green here, I am gonna putt it. I'm not sure if these greens are super fast, super slow. We're a little bit uphill. We got the rough and the fringe to contend with here. Just wanna get this one inside of two feet. I mean, we can obviously give it a run for birdie. I don't see too much in it, honestly. Maybe a little right to left from here, but this is all about speed, really, so. All right, here we go. Birdie look on the first. Run! Oh, we had a really good line there. Came out a little dead out of the rough, but that's kind of what you expect. All right, let's see if we can clean this up for par. Yes, we can. All right, easy par start there. That's what you love to see. Let's head on to hole number 11. All right, we got about a 500 yard par five up here. Next for hole number 11, looks like it goes a little bit to the left. Those trees are kind of hanging over there, but I think I can go over them. So that's what we're gonna try to do. Is this slightly more aggressive? Yes, but we're gonna try it anyway. I'm feeling good about the driver. Let's hit it. It's through him. Wait, wait, triple knock. All right, it's now a three shot hole, but I saw it down, so we're not in trouble. Well, here's where we came down. We've got the 150 marker is right up there. It's not like it's that far away. So we're easily still reaching this green in, uh, in three. We gotta stay under these trees or we gotta hook around the trees. I'm kind of like in the hook five iron play right now. I feel like I can hook that a lot more than I can hook that four wood. So I think I'm gonna take kind of like the, the stinger hook five around that tree branch there and just try to run one right up to that 150. That's the goal. Let's see if we can execute. You good, Sarah? Uh, you don't have to, but you can, yeah. Hold up. Watch this par. Give me a sec, watch this par. <laughs> so the, we found some trouble. Did we play aggressively and get ourselves into this trouble? Yes, but I shouldn't have topped that other one. Let's make a par from here. We're calling it a really long par three now. Let's blast this forward, get it somewhere down by the green. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! <laughs> 
you know, hold on, I'm still cooking here. The grass is really long, it takes me a few holes to get used to it, and we'll get there, don't worry. Okay, let's stay down in The first hole was so good. We were cruising on the first hole. Second hole, still working on it. All right, stay down, let's hit a good shot here. There we go. Stayed down plenty, sending down the fairway. Should have done that two shots ago, but that is our situation now. Let's go make the most of it. Up and down for bogey is our goal now. We can certainly get that done. Uh, pin looks like it's up on the back ridge. It looks like there's kind of a terrace up there we want to try to get on. So I've got 58 degree here. Got about exactly 100 yards. So hoping to fly it just up on that terrace and hopefully it stays there. It's well struck. Get up a little, go a little. Oh, I think it got up to there. Stay up there. Yes, I think we're up on the right level. All right, we can make that. Hold on. Well, we landed it pretty close over there, which is nice to see. We did eventually make it to the green. We've got this for bogey now, which is really good result if we can convert this, given how poorly we've played this hole. That would definitely be stealing one back. It looks pretty straight to me, too. I think we're just going to roll the rock right at it. I had a good read on the last green, which is great. Let's just see if we can uh, hit a good putt here. Oh, it's good, but it's a little short. Oh, I'm leaving everything short today. Double on this hole after all is said and done. I kind of wasted two shots, so really it's like a par. All right, let's turn things around in the next hole. Well, hole number 12 here is a 310 yard par four. I imagine it dog legs to the left quite a bit there. Looks like it's about 240, 250 to go through this fairway. So I've got the four wood again, it's uphill. Just trying to play it right over those sand traps on the left side, let it work back. Put a good swing on it. Yeah, that's a good swing. I hope it's not too far. Just up the right side. We're perfect, right in the fairway. All right, back to safe golf. That's what we want to see, right? Hey, if you told me double was the worst score I'm going to make out here today, I'd be pretty happy with it. So let's make it happen. Should have got a yardage while I was up there. That would have been smart. <laughs> well, I guess we'll play it as a field shot then. Looks like it's about 55 yards. That's my guess. So we'll do a little half swing, knock down 58 degree here, see if we can give ourselves a good birdie look, I suppose. Flags up on a back tier, so ball way above our feet. Let's see what we can do. Is that too much? Settle, I think. I'm not really sure, hopefully it's good. Well, we were a little bit long here, so not terrible, but this is a really tricky chip. Everything is running away from us downhill, so fluff it up and kind of let it land like somewhere in here by this old dead patch and just let it funnel down. Really tricky one. All right, let's focus on good contact here into the grain. See if we can get a good result. It's a little deep settle. Oh, it's not bad. Hey, we gave it a run, which isn't bad. Let's go ahead and see if we can convert that thing for par. Well, we saw it go past. We know there's a decent amount of break in this. I think I'm gonna play this a cup outside right. It's back uphill, so we can be firm enough anyway. Let's not leave this one short. We've been leaving them all short today. Oh, if only I had taken a little bit off that one. Oh man, that's a, uh, that's a big lip out. We went with the aggressive putt there and didn't exactly pay off. Similar type of putt, cup out, uphill. Don't lip it out downhill. Yes, no problem. Lift it out. We saw the entire hole, that hole, all the way around this side, all the way around that side. Hey, we'll take it for bogey. That is riding the ship from last hole, that's for sure. Let's work it back to a par on the next one. Hey, look at this guy. He's like the mascot for this hole. He's got some eyeballs and he's a tree stump. He almost looks like Cookie Monster a little bit. I brought cookies. We're gonna have cookies before the next hole. <laughs> Well, it's been super fun out here so far. This course is absolutely beautiful. We've had two really awesome dog leg holes where we had to make some decisions off the tee within the first three holes. This hole looks absolutely gorgeous. Hole number 13 here, big elevation change, downhill, par three. I'm really looking forward to it. We got our cookie from the cookie monster in the woods back there. So I think that's really gonna help us on this hole, but we made our double. We bounced back with a bogey. Time to get back on track with the par. But hey, this could be the one great shot of the round, right? It could be right here on this hole. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's see what we can do. Hole 13, coming up. Hole number 13 here, pin is all the way in the back. It's about 160 to that back ledge. I've got eight iron here. I think it's just about enough to get there. Not really sure with the elevation chain, so we're just gonna try to make nice smooth contact. Hit a good shot. Hit a great shot, actually. Let's do that. Come on now. Oh, it's good. It's just not fading. It's at that left bunker. Get short of it. Right in it. <laughs> all right, that's all right. Let's check out the bunkers on this course, see how they play. Uh, 
Oh no, this is not good. We've landed right there. It's not a fried egg. It made kind of a divot and made a crater and then fell out of it a little bit, but this is, this is not next to impossible, but pretty much right there. Ball way below the feet. Can we do the, the knee shot? No, that's, that's minus EV right there. That's not good. I think we got to stand outside the bunker and then pretty much just pray at this point. <laughs> Luckily, there is a big hill at the back, so if we, uh, we get a little bit too much ball here. It should at least get stopped by that hill, but anything on the green here would be pretty much a miracle, so. All right, we know what to do. Take a lot of sand, aim out to the left, and hope for the best. Oh, I could go lefty. It's actually not a bad idea. I'm not good enough lefty out of the sand. I'll hit one for fun after this, though, lefty, just to see what would have happened. All right, righty first for the scorecard. Here we go. It's decent. We are out of there, we made good contact. All right, just for the memes, we'll go lefty from this divot. You're supposed to cross your hands back over, but I actually don't like doing that if I have to take a lefty shot, so I would just go like this and try my best here. <laughs> it's not that much better. In fact, I would say it's worse. We got out though, which I guess is kind of the point of having that escape shot in the bag. The toe really digs into the sand, but all right, let's rake it up, see if we can get it up and down for bogey. I want to restore it to like exactly how it was. Look how nicely these bunkers are raked. I can't quite do that with this rake. I don't have the skill, skill issue, but there, looks great. Well, this is again, like really high on the difficulty rating. Big downhill slope. Got to really follow the hill down, kind of exaggerate that to make sure we get good contact. Pop it up, everything's running away. I think we can land this just at the front edge of the green there and it should roll down nicely. But again, this is like an eight out of 10. The last shot was like a nine and a half. This is like an eight. Oh, I got too much of it. It's past you guys. Oh, what a hard hole it's been so far. We'll just have to chip it in. That would be a crazy par. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, I am a six handicap. This is what six handicap golf looks like. <laughs> Not quite. We can chip this in. This is very chippable in a The one word that isn't in that that's implied is do your job well. Yes. Oh, that's exactly what I was trying to do. I thought it was going to move a little bit more left to right. Hey, I'm very happy with that. Two mediocre shots, honestly. They weren't even bad shots from those two spots. And we'll be tapping in for bogey. Not bad. And there we go. All right, that hole was super fun despite the horrible circumstances I put myself into. All right, hole 14, let's roll it up. All right, reality check. I actually made a double on that last hole. I was just counting them up. It wasn't a bogey, it was a tap in double. Hole number 14 up here next. Again, oh, it's a turkey. The turkey's always showing up right at the second. Get him, Sarah. It's an entire army of turkeys. Good. Why, why are you looking at me when you said turkey B-roll? What's up with that, huh? <laughs> All right, hole 14, uh, 385 yards. Again, if you could hit a draw on these back nine, you'd be in business, but I sadly don't like to hit draws. I could probably hit it, but it's not worth risking. So downhill a little bit, a little bit down breeze as well. I think we've got driver. We've got some strokes to make up. So let's see if we can get a birdie on the scorecard here. Starts with a good drive. It's a rope and it is drawing as well. That's a beautiful drive. Seems like cash money. It seems like it landed right in the middle of the fairway. So great start. Here's our drive. Absolute monster here. We got 75 yards left into this pin, uh, 385 yard hole. So that's a casual 310 yard drive, allegedly. <laughs> Quite a bit downhill, nothing to see here. Uh, it was a really good drive though. So let's go see if we can knock this one down, get it tight. I got the 58, I'm gonna go for a knockdown. Instead of trying to hit a more full 62, I'm gonna try just a little knockdown 58. I think it might work out a little better. All right, let's give ourselves a birdie look. I like it. Go a little. Oh yeah, that's a really good shot. Settle in right there. Beautiful. All right, a little six footer for bird. Just seems like you have more control with those little knockdown shots, that's for sure. And boy, did we deliver. Is that a great shot? It is if we make the putt. Hold, give me a sec. All right, we got about well, it's a little more than six feet, it's like 10 feet, but it is still a really good birdie look here. So hopefully we can convert this or at the very least give it a run. Got the old uh, Muskrat Lynx towel here. I guess it's the new Muskrat Lynx towel. Look at that bad boy. Coming soon to a shop near you. As long as you guys tap that subscribe button, get us a 10K, right? Something like that. All right, putting. So far we've been short, we've been long, but we have been hitting lines. And that is something we can take to heart. So I think we're gonna be able to put a good run on this putt. Get the speed right. Don't want to leave it short, it's a birdie putt. Left edge, come on now. 
Oh, it's outside left. I played it too far outside. Might have pulled that one a hair. Hey, it's still a good putt. We gave it a run. Let's tap her in for par, and we have absolutely righted to ship here. There we go. All right, back on the par train. Took a couple good shots to do it. Let's head on to the next hole, and boy, is it beautiful out here. We're kind of in the woods. It's nice and quiet. Absolutely love golf courses like this. Well, next up here, we've got another absolutely gorgeous par four here downhill. Nice, beautiful mountains in the background. Uh, it's about 401 yards, I think. That's what I read on the sign. So it'll probably play a little bit closer to 380 going downhill a little bit, but I've got driver, finally a straightaway hole. We did well on the last hole to be fair, but let's see if we can put another one right down the middle. Let's keep that par street going here. Yeah, that's a good drive. That'll do it. A little bit off the toe. Soaring perfectly down there. Should be right in the middle of the fairway, I think. Whew. All right, a couple good drives in a row. Nice. To be fair, we have been hitting the driver very well today. Even on hole number 11, where we ripped it into the trees and made double. It was still a really good drive. So I'm feeling pretty confident with the driver. Feeling pretty confident off the tee overall today. Just around the green. But I mean, at least that's what happens when you don't play golf for a month. But you edit videos instead. You edit golf ball hunting videos. That's what you guys want, right? <laughs> All right, let's go get that drive, see if we can hit another green in regulation. Well, another absolutely gorgeous drive here. We've got 88 left to the flag, 401 yard hole. So that's another 300 yard drive. This is what it feels like to golf in like Colorado where you just like add 20 yards to your drive every time. I like it. Hey, tailwind as well here. We wanna to try to do exactly what we did on the last hole. Hit a little knock down 58 degree. Try to land it on the green, give ourselves a putt for birdie. Let's go. Big tail breeze here picking up. I like it. Spin, spin. No, a little bit too deep. One hop too long, but hey, a good line will take it. Well, we did end up a smidge long here. Our ball mark was just up in front of the cup. Carried that a little bit further than we wanted, but that is a okay. This is definitely another chippable inable one. Let's see if we can do the same thing that we did back on that par three and give it a run and leave ourselves a tap in par. Yes. Oh, lipped it out. Gave it a little bit too much juice. I was hoping that might catch the flag stick there a little bit, but not unhappy with that. Gave it a little too much, but hey. Hello. How's it going? I have a good feeling about this putt. We saw it passed. I don't think there's that much break in it. Let's just try to hit a straight putt again. I think this one will go. Should be a really nice par here. Come on now. Oh, we've been burning so many lips today. We've hit like five lips in five holes. I don't know how many holes we played actually, but one of them lipped in to be fair, so I guess we got that going for us. But a tap in bogey, should have done a little bit better with that chip, left ourselves a little bit closer of a putt. But hey, gorgeous hole. Let's move on to the next one, see if we can get that birdie. All right, hole number 16 up here next. We've got driver, another gorgeous one, beautiful backdrop there. Downhill, then uphill. Not gonna get much run out out of this, so just play it safe. 150 markers right ahead of us. See if we can put another one down the fairway. Beautiful. Gorgeous little stinger there up the left side. Gonna find the bottom of the hill. Perfect. Whew, that's a good drive. Driver's been hot today. 101. All right, we got ourselves in kind of a tricky situation here. Ball's well below our feet. We've got 101 yards uphill, probably playing about 108 or so, 110. So I'm gonna go knock down 54 instead of trying to stand on the 58, which has kind of been working for us so far, hitting these knockdown shots. So I'm gonna go kind of right in between the two telephone poles back there. You got like the lighter tan one, and then you got like the more rust colored one just to the right of the flag. So I'm gonna try to kick a field goal right in between them. And it'll probably work its way back to the right naturally off this lie. All right, green in regulation. Let's get another, come on now. That's exactly the shot I was trying to hit. Be a good number. It's a field goal. It's good, I'll tell you that. Right in the middle. Oh, <laughs> it wasn't bad. I'm taking some huge divots out here, that's for sure. The good news is we are replacing every single one of them, as you should. All right, let's go see what we got for a birdie look. Well, distance control was pretty much bang on here. Got our divot right there. Let's replace and repair this one. Get that ball mark out of here. Bada bing, bada boom. That's kind of my aiming line though, just inside of that guy. This is a slippery little putt because it's kind of downhill at the end. It's about 20 feet, but I only want to play it like 16 really. But this will go. We haven't made 
a putt for bird yet today, but we've been giving ourselves a lot of good looks. This is another one. I like it. Turn, baby. Oh, that was a really good putt. We can definitely be happy with that one. That's a kick in par, and that's gonna bring us two holes left to play here. Don't forget, we'll be leaving our ratings at the end, but it's been a ton of fun out here so far. Beautiful night, beautiful course, two to play. Let's go. Hole number 17 up here. We got another dog leg left. This whole back nine's dog leg left, so I wish I could hit a draw, but instead we're gonna take the nine wood here, take it nice and high and soft, play it out just short of where that cart is out there right now, try to land it in the fairway, give ourselves a good number in. Down to one ball left, because Sarah just lost my last ball on the pond for fun. <laughs> Called out. The amount of bad karma I built up for this shot, and now there's no way this hits the fairway. Literally impossible. All right, here we go. Little sting piece. That's what we wanted. It is in the fairway, despite my best efforts. Not exactly the shot shape we were going for, but it's functional. All right, let's see if we can hit, I think this will be three greens in regulation in a row if we can hit this, so let's do it. Well, here we are in the fairway. We've got pretty much exactly 100 yards, which is just gonna be a nice full 58. I don't really wanna knock down the 54 this time because I just did it on the last hole for like an 110 yard shot, so I don't feel like I have the distance dialed in for it. So we're gonna go with a full 58. I think it's gonna be a good number to get us on the green and hopefully give ourselves another look at bird. One of these times, they're gonna fall. If I only knew how to putt. All right, here we go. It's really good. Be the right number. It was not the right number. Oh, I was dead on line. But now we're embedded in the bank above the sand trap. Shouldn't have talked myself out of the 54. All right, now we gotta get up and down for par. We can do it though. We haven't really been scrambling much today in a good position. Let's do it now. Not embedded, not held up by the rake. We are a-okay. Uh, stance wise, yeah, we're pretty okay stance wise too. All right, just gonna Gotta flip this up the hill here and give ourselves a look for par. It's tricky, but it's not impossible. All right, I got 54. Seems like the right choice. Here we go. Maybe it was not the right choice. No, I hit a little bit behind that ball. That was my bad. But hey, we still haven't had a great shot yet today. And now we're in a good position to chip in. We got a little right to left in this one. Can definitely see this one going in. Ah, gave it a run a little bit on the high side. Maybe a little too aggressive, but now I've got a bit of a snake coming back for our bogey. Yeah, definitely a little work in through here. A couple of old pitch marks. I'm gonna go like just past the edge of this one, just on the right side of that one. Feed it right inside there, and I think this putt will go. Definitely a tricky one, but would be a good one for us to make. It's online. Oh, it actually moved to the right at the end. Oh, I hit it perfectly where I wanted it to go, but it didn't keep going left. It just tailed off right. All right, tap it in. Made a little bit of a mess there at the end. But hey, that was a very fun hole. Again, if I could hit draws, we'd be in business. But hole 18, coming up next. Let's hit it. All right, folks, final hole of the video here. Hole 18, it's absolutely gorgeous. Par five, moving a little bit to the right finally, which is gonna be good for us. So I have a good driver. We're just gonna aim at that left bunker. Let it work its way back. One last good drive. Nice. Right on line, kick right a little, bouncing down the fairway. Beautiful. All right, let's see if we can get on in two. Maybe make a birdie for a change. Thanks. Well, you could have taken like three or four drives as the great shot of the day so far. This is another great one, but I don't consider it the great shot of the day. Like we gotta be sticking some of these tight, right? So we got about 160 left here, pins at the back, so it's playing a little bit longer. I've got probably nice smooth eight. And just aim for the left of the green, kind of right at the edge of that tree in the telephone pole. Hit a green, have a putt at eagle? That's what I want to see here. All right, now's our chance. It's not fading at all, it's just dead straight. Probably some bunker up there. Oh, it might have found grass actually. All right, we'll see if we can get it up and down for a birdie. Well, we're a hair long here. Not too bad though, kind of bounce through. Uh, it kind of funnels nicely here. I really like the look of this chip. We could get this one tight. That's what we want. Just give ourselves a good look at bird. Come on, one great shot. Get it up, get it out, get it rolling. It's up, it's out. It's not really rolling. Kind of fluffed under that one a little bit too much. Didn't get it into the gully. 
All right, we'll just have to make it a great putt then for birdie, shall we? Yeah, I don't mind this putt at all, actually. It's got a little bit left to right coming down the hill at the end there, but there's not much in it. Again, it's kind of just like a pace putt. It's rolling. It's a little too hot and a little too left. Well, that's not the par putt we were hoping for, but it's the par putt we got. Let's see if we can finish it off. All right, uphill, left to right. Let's drain this thing. Get out of here with the par. <laughs> What's one more lip out to add to the collection today? It's pretty good. There we go. It's a bogey to finish off the round here. It has been an absolute blast. I absolutely loved it out here at Loch Mere. So I'll give you guys my ratings and reviews. All right, back to the house. Before we get into our review of Loch Mere, let's go ahead and pick the nominee and eventual winner from the previous golf ball hunting video here. So as you guys know, we did a secret nominee entry on the previous video, and now we're gonna pick the entry that's gonna go up against him for the big giveaway here. So the winner, the nominee, from this video is, it's gonna be Mitch. So we're gonna have Mitch up against Vince now in a coin flip to see who takes home the dub. We're gonna do Vince for heads. We're gonna do Mitch for tails. Let's go ahead and flip this and see who the winner is. And it is Mitch. Mitch, congratulations. I'll go ahead and verify your information and get you that awesome Muskrat Link swag bag complete with all of the tees we won in Kino. We multiplied those by a whole bunch. We found so many awesome matches there on the Kino board, which was great to see. Now let's go ahead and get to our ranking of Lockmere. First of all, I want to give a big shout out and a big thank you to the folks over at Lockmere. Jerry, the owner, Brendan, the head pro there. You guys were all super nice to me and very hospitable letting us go out there film have a great time do our golf ball hunting content as well thank you guys very much for that so now let's get into our rating and let's start with a character that's a great place to start right so as you guys know character is kind of based on how fun the course is to play are there fun shots that you need to hit you need to think off the tee box are there elevation changes and the answer for lock mirror is yes absolutely as you guys saw there were probably three dog leg holes. Every hole had some nice elevation changes. The greens had a fair amount of undulation to them. It was a ton of fun to play. So I'm giving it 24 out of 25 points. And the only reason why I don't give it 25 points is because we only played the back nine out there today. I wanna to leave some room for the front. We obviously wanna get back out there to play and feature the front for you guys again. So I'm leaving some room. If the front isn't as good as the back, it probably goes down to a 23. If the front is even more fun and has even more character than the back, we're bumping it up to 25 because it was amazing out there on the back. Frankly, it was super fun to play and I cannot wait to get back out there. So next we've got facilities. And as I mentioned in the video, they've got a driving range, they've got two chipping greens, they've got a pro shop, a full restaurant. I'm not sure if they actually had any simulators or not now that I think about it. I didn't research that too much. I don't think they do though. I don't remember seeing that on their website, but. And just a quick update for you guys, actually, I was able to get in touch with Brendan, the head pro there, and he said that behind the 18th hole, the one that we finished on, they're actually building a new pub room that has the nice farmer's porch out in front of it as well, and they're adding two new simulators there behind that porch. So that is gonna be an awesome place. So two new simulators and a nice new pub room coming soon to Lockmere. The pro shop wasn't huge either. It definitely had enough to get the job done, that's for sure. So I'm giving them a quite high score on facilities as well because it's tough to find courses in New Hampshire that offer all of that. So we're going with a 23 out of 25 for facilities. Moving on to value. Now again, this is the balance between how much you pay for the round of golf and what you actually get for course conditions, right? Is the course nice? Are there a bunch of pock marks on the greens? Are the tee boxes burned out? Huge bumps driving around on the golf carts. And for Lockmere, I ended up going with a 22 out of 25 for value. There were some really nice things out there. One, their cart paths were mostly paved, which is great. I can't tell you how many courses I've been on where I just get bumped up and down the seat the entire time. Everything was nicely laid out. It was my first time playing out there on the course course and I was able to find my way to the different tee boxes no matter where I was coming from. There were some painted labels down on the cart path. There were signs on the ground. It was really easy to navigate, which is great because I've been to courses before where you're driving around, you just have no idea where the next tee box is, right? The course conditions were pretty nice as well. The greens were very firm. It was a very New Hampshire golf course, which is, again, that's kind of what we're looking for here, right? So I went with a 22 for value. The price was a little bit expensive for 18 holes. I believe it's $79 for 18 in the cart, which is definitely on the high side for New Hampshire. But again, you're getting a much higher quality 
quality product. There's a reason why it's rated number one in the state over and over again for public courses. So value, 22 out of 25. And lastly, we get the score for friendliness. This is obviously a great one because, you know, it helps if I have the camera, of course, people are obviously gonna be a little bit nicer to me, but you get to know some of the people that don't actually know you're recording, just like chatting with people out there. Like I talked to the cart guy, I think his name was Ed at the end of the round. He was an absolute blast to talk with, fantastic guy. Brendan, his staff was all super nice when I was there. So I have absolutely no complaints there. We're gonna go with a 24 out of 25 for friendliness. It's good just to be able to like talk to people that get it, you know, right? Knowing that, you know, I'm out here filming these New Hampshire courses, showcasing them, putting a nice positive footprint out there for the world to see, for you guys to enjoy. And Brendan totally got that. It was great to chat with him. He really understood what we were doing out here. So big ups to all the staff there at Lockmere. I had an absolute blast. You guys are great. 24 out of 25 for friendliness. And that brings our final score for Lockmere to 93. Very high up there, I think. Is that actually like tied podium or something? Let me actually check. 93, 93, 93, 95, 96. Yeah, it's a joint tied third for my favorite course in the state that we have seen so far. And like I said, that number has the ability to go up as well. If we can get back out there and play the front nine, I'd be super excited for that. And I wouldn't be shocked if this number bumped up for like a 94 or a 95 too. The way the back looked, the front could be amazing. So guys, make sure to tap that subscribe button. Join the Muskrat Links golf team today. We are almost at that 10K and I have some banging videos coming out and one that you guys have been asking for for a couple years now. It's happening. Help us get to that 10K mark so we can open up the Muskrat Links shop as well. We've been doing a ton of work on that. Give us a follow on our other socials, but I think that's gonna be it for me. Have fun out there, everyone.